Let me just say this while I'm shaving my face, y'all. Not this weekly. This one. Let's do some skincare and talk about it, okay? Boundaries. People getting upset with your boundaries, with your standards, okay? Just remember this. The only people that get upset with your standards or boundaries are the ones that can't reach them. Like, period. Like, for example, if you at the grocery store and you want something on the top shelf, if you as tall as the top shelf, you ain't gonna be like, damn, this shit hard as hell to get to. But if you short as fuck, you're gonna be like, damn, why they put this on real here? Doesn't mean you don't want what's on that shelf, it just means you can't get it, okay? And that's how I feel about standards. Now, so many times, I ain't talking about those unrealistic standards, first of all, especially if you're not meeting them, okay? But if you got standards and the rest of the world just don't, and everybody complaining, it's nine times ten because they don't, they just can't meet them. Nobody that meets your standards gonna complain about it. Like you see, girls get mad. Girls be getting mad when dudes be talking about how they want a female that's not overweight. Who be getting mad? Who be getting mad? It's not the females in shape. It's the females out of shape talking about trying to convince them why why they missing out and so like first of all i ain't in the business commit of, of convincing okay if you don't like my fat ass and I, you know i'm not fat you know i'm slim thick but i'm just saying like if there's something about me that you don't like then somebody else will like i, I i've never gotten already see it he don't like it and he's voicing it. Some of y'all be loud and disrespectful, but it don't even matter if he's saying it in a respectful way or in a non-respectful way. In other words, he, you ain't what he want. So like, I'm not in the in the business of uh, for convincing hopes. So your standards, if you standing on your standards, stand on it. Here, what's going to happen is if you don't stand on your standards, then when you get with somebody that don't meet your standards, one day you're going to run somebody who do, right? And then you're going to be like, dang, I wish I would have never, what? Settled. But you settled because you was impatient, okay? You settled because you let society tell you, oh, by this age or this time, or, or it's winter, it's getting cold, you need to go find you a dude, get you a girl or something. No, that's what they got the heat for, okay? You got heat in your house, you paying your heat bill? Like, look, do not settle for a man or a woman just because it's cold outside. Because, baby, they hearts can be colder. <laughs> you got your heart broken by somebody who you gave him a chance? Or you gave her a chance? Ooh, I'm bleeding a little bit. You gave you gave a person that you really ain't supposed to be fucking with a chance. And then they fuck you over. You like, but you the but you the lesser one. That's what that's what happens. That's what happens. When you go against the grain, you usually get cut. Like I just cut my damn face. Okay? Go with what you want in life. Don't let nobody make you feel bad about your standards.